Hello again, Dr. Howard here in our dental lab at Lookout Mountain Family Dentistry. Welcome back. Uh, we're glad to have you. We've got a special video today um, to give you a, a pointer, a real good tip that I found to be very helpful in making some of these, these mouth guards, these sports custom fitted mouth guards that we make. Um, so one of the uh, pointers that I want to really get to today is in trimming the cast. You know, taking the impression, uh, getting a, a real nice cast is also one important thing in making a good custom fitted mouth guard. But one thing that I've found in trimming the cast, um, it can be very helpful if you trim it in a, a, a certain angle, a certain direction. A lot of times we learn in school or in doing these that we will trim these casts uh, parallel to the occlusal plane. So if you've got your occlusal plane, you'll push it on the, 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 the drill, um, the lathe, and it'll trim that, that, that bottom here flat. That you've got to make sure it's flat because if it starts rocking, um, you also have a problem. So when I train a lot of my assistants to make these, I tell them you've got to make it flat, but don't make it parallel to the occlusal plane. Because what happens here if you look at this this drawing that I've got, um, so if you if you trim it, the bottom parallel to the occlusal plane, you'll see here at the interior in the interior region here, you've got a space or an undercut. Um, the material is going to come flat down, and then it's got to work its way underneath that undercut there to form and adapt to this front area here. So what I do a lot of times to avoid getting that undercut and to allow the material to come down and adapt well into that interior region is I'll trim it more at an angle. And let's look at this diagram here. So you see I've, I've kind of had the occlusal plane coming down at an angle and so it's just right at the back teeth here, the back molars. And what that does is that will lift that interior teeth more straight up and down. It's more straight up and down so you avoid that undercut and when you suck down the material that material doesn't have to work very hard or stretch very hard to get into this anterior region here. So look at some of these casts and this is what, I, what I'm talking about. You can kind of see what some of these casts are, are they're flat on the table but they're not flat with the occlusal plane. You can see they're, they're, they're tread more down here towards the molars and you've got a lot more material here in the anterior but it's also kind of turned so those anterior teeth are more straight up and down and that way the material will, will suck down, be pressed down over that area and adapt better into this area where there's no, no undercuts. Um, so if you try that I think you'll find uh, a lot better adaptation, a lot better fit in these anterior regions here. Another thing that you can do <clears throat> that this machine is adapted for um, is you can take out the bottom base here. Uh, this bottom base can be removed. If you remove this bottom base <clears throat> and you can replace this base with either the company supplies or you can purchase some of their metal beads to put in here. Uh, you can buy some, some little BBs from the store and put in here. But I'll, I'll just get some, some uncooked rice, some rice kernels. And I'll dump these rice kernels in there. And you can do this for one of two reasons. One, you're trying to, you know, reduce the undercut so you'll put it down, your cast down into the rice here more at an angle or sometimes you've got a cast that's too thick or too high that it won't fit inside there so you'll take the, ba the base off and you can put some rice kernels in there and put that right on top of the rice kernels and you can kind of see you can angle that any way you won't want to angle it and it fits nice and tight on there and now you don't have an undercut and you can put this back underneath there now and your your cast that's too high will fit in there or if you've got an undercut that you're trying to prevent now 
you don't have that undercut. So those are two ways that I do to help me adapt better into this anterior region. So try those two tricks, either with the, the rice or trimming it at an angle and see if you don't get bad, better adaptation here to this anterior, anterior region. Uh, well, good luck to you and your mouth cards, and we'll see you next time. Bye.